I'd like to show you my Morgan Monroe Admiral banjo. Um, I bought this from Janet Davis Music, and um, it was mislabeled on their uh, their site. It, it was said it was a River King, so I had that stuck in my head. But the River King is brass; it's not gold plated, and it doesn't have the uh, the inlay on it. The resonator on this, you can tell, it has this really fancy dancy uh, pearl inlay and uh, an abalone inlay. Also, the neck is the same. It's got the uh, it looks like a little vase down here and, and then some other um, really ornate inlays up and down the neck. The binding on the side, that's the neck here, has this little stripe down the side on both sides. It's called binding. It has little dots for the guys who still look when they play to see uh, what, you know, what note they're on and stuff like that. The gold plating on this is all engraved. Um, kind of hard to see probably in the video, but there are some pictures I know on the website also that will show that. And of course, the, the neck itself has another uh, pearl inlay at the very bottom here and all that. I personally um, had this made custom for me because it was my retirement present to myself. I had Janet Davis Music uh, change out these tuning pegs to four uh, gold-plated, uh, uh, they're called uh, Scruggs Keith pegs, which have the stops on them so you can tune between certain notes and not go out of tune. And because I had them put them on the, the first two string, the fourth and the first string, um, it takes a special set of these because the barrel that the string wraps around has to be a different diameter or you won't be in tune. It'll, it, or you have to turn 2,000 degrees in order to, uh, to make it work. So that was one of the other special things I had done. I had her put in the, um, the, the uh, railroad spikes for, so when you capo a little higher here, Got one on the 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, and 12th frets. So you can really, you know, really easy to slip them underneath there and change keys when you have to. The, um, the base part of this, um, the actual shell inside here, was completely redone by Janet Davis. I sent it back to them and said I, I didn't like the way it sounded originally. And they said we could fix that. So they put in a, a, a special tone ring and a special um, uh, maple um, uh, rim inside there, completely rebuilt the inside of this thing so it doesn't sound anything like it did originally. Uh, that was another thousand bucks for me, by the way, when I had that done. Morgan Monroe is known for their low end banjos because they're like entry level. A lot of their banjos sell like between four and eight hundred dollars, and they're nice banjos, they're great to learn on. This was a signature, this was their top of the line, they didn't make one any better than this. They don't make them anymore. I guess they didn't sell a lot of them. Uh, I don't know why, because they're really beautiful. But probably because they are known for the low end. But, um, but this is really a special banjo. It's, it's got great sound. Also had them put in a, uh, a pickup for me. These two little pieces of tape you see here. It's actually a special electronic pickup that um, keeps the banjo from sounding like an electric banjo when you're playing it acoustically. Got a little plug uh, on the side here that uh, you just plug your cord in, put it into a, a guitar amplifier. Actually, it works better if you put it in a PA amplifier, much clearer if you do it that way. So if you're going to play it electrically, like if you're competing with some electric instruments, no problem, you're all set, you're ready to go. So I think you'll really enjoy this banjo, it's beautiful just to look at. If you're a beginner, you'll certainly work up into it. The strings are incredibly low. Yeah, you probably even can't even see here but how close they are to the neck here. They just lay flat on the neck. It's so easy to press down so you don't get the elephant's feet fingertips. So I think uh, anyone that wants this, they've got a collector's item. It's certainly going to be uh, going up in value as time goes on.